We've got five minutes to get back to our gate. In 1972, in a suburb of New Orleans, Chicken on the Run opened its doors in an effort to compete with KFC. But after four months, it would close. However, four days later, it reopened under a new branding and now has over 3,000 restaurants. Today, I will eat everything from Popeye's Famous Fried Chicken. This is a great day. Also, their menu got smaller. And as always, Eat the Menu is brought to you by Keith's Chicken Sauce. Now available in a three pack on Amazon.com. Some people seem to be upset that I was promoting my hot sauce in the last uh, couple of videos, but I'm like, <laughs> you expect me not to try to build an empire? Today we're eating Popeyes. I love Popeyes. It is probably one of my favorite fast food restaurants in the world. I've been waiting to do this. We are in Denver, Colorado, which has nothing to do with Popeyes, but we are on the road. The burger's out doing shows. We're crushing it. It's great. And uh, I haven't had fried chicken in a while, so I'm really excited for this. It's gonna be delicious. Also today we are covering up the art we don't wanna license with our own art that we don't have to license. Look at us, we're so cute. Just so you guys know, we are filming this just a few days after the Whataburger Ethan menu dropped. There was a lot of controversy around it. I feel like overall I gave it a pretty good review. Don't know why people were so upset. I apologize if I upset you or offended you. I do stand by though the fact that fast food chains should be good everywhere. And today's Popeyes, Popeyes is good everywhere. I've never had a bad Popeyes. Even a bad Popeyes is way better than a great Burger King. And I should stop hating on Burger King. Burger King's fine. But let's just dive in. Let's eat the menu. Let's start out with the sides and the drinks. I will also be enjoying my meal today with some sweet tea and some unsweetened tea. Sweet tea is very important to the South. It's good. Oh yeah, nice. Let's try the other one real quick. That's not sweet, it's unsweetened. It's still good, ah, tea's great. South knows tea, love tea. Don't you love tea? Yeah, you do. Okay, I wanna start with something I've never had, the Cajun rice. Great smell, it looks like it has little pieces of meat in it. It's nice, it's a dirty rice, well seasoned. It reminds me of being invited to your like friend's house and their mom's cooking a nice good southern dinner and you're like, what's that? It's like, this dirty rice. In my house, our rice isn't dirty. The coleslaw. I am a big coleslaw fan, let's get a big old glop. It's good, it's like supermarket coleslaw. It's not the best coleslaw in the world, but it is exactly what you expect when you buy some chicken and coleslaw. The red beans and rice. I don't think I've ever had this from Popeyes. I'm very excited. Oh yeah. Kind of tastes like hot dogs. I'm not sure why it tastes like hot dogs. It kind of tastes like um, the little hot dog and beans, bean, bean and weenies. Beanie weenie? <laughs> beanie weenie? Were they called beanie weenies? I think they were called beanie weenies. It's delicious. I kind of like the hot dogginess. These are way better than I ever knew. I always get the mashed potatoes, I never venture out. That's incredible. Lou Burger's here, filming the video as always. They're hanging out in the room. We're in a beautiful room. Look at this, this room has two beds and a couch area. We took the table from by the TV, where I'm sitting on extra cushions on top of the couch to be high enough, because the couch sits real low. That's just some of the cool behind the scenes stuff. The Cajun fries. Mm-hmm. They're pretty good. You know, they look really good. The battering on it, they look really amazing. They got a good visible seasoning. They're good, but I want them to be better because they look so sexy. The mashed potatoes, it looks very sad in here. This portion is BS. I'm used to getting my mashed potatoes to the brim and there's so much extra gravy and this is weak. This is just a location thing because I know that Popeyes normally doesn't do this, but let's try it. Mmm. They taste different than they used to taste. Or this place is f***ing it up. I don't know, they're not as good as they used to be, or at least this place doesn't do them as well. I'm a little disappointed right here, because I'm a boy who dips like everything in the mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes and ranch are equal dipping sauces for me for fried chicken. Yeah, I'm a little let down by that. That's sad. <sighs> you know, but I know that it can be better. I will say the best side, I think, was the red beans and rice so far. It's like very like hot dog and delicious. Let's move on to some tenders. Now to join me for some tenders and some biscuits, please welcome Huey Stonefish! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 
Whoop. Dude, watch out. There's wow. everywhere. You just, just, you just stepped on the apple pie. In the path. The uh, apple pie is fine though. You just stepped in the back part. So it's all good. Hey. Great. Um, so we have some tenders and some biscuits here. I've actually never had the chicken tenders from uh, Popeyes. Me either. I only get bone-in fried chicken, so this is gonna be a new experience for me. Why don't we start with the biscuits? I'm gonna go ahead and do a disclaimer for all angry commenters. I asked for honey. They didn't send it to me. They also didn't send me my ranch or my other dips. Don't know what the is going on. They only sent me tartar sauce and sweet heat sauce. But let's start with the biscuit. Cheers. It is such a good, mm, pillowy, mm. salty, buttery. Like mm. movie theater popcorn. Crumbly. Mm -hmm. It's like a cloud. You like lip your lips and there's salt on them. Mm. Lick your lips. Good salt. Mm -hmm. You know, we didn't really grow up with biscuits. Yeah. So it's exciting to try. Give yourself mm. a little mashed potato dip. Put that carb on that carb. Eef. You wouldn't dare. Mm. It's good. It's too oh, much. yeah. Hell yeah. Wow. Oh my God, the flavor combination. Oh my Lord. Mmm. Jesus. Mmm. Popeye. Wow. Whoa. Chicken, Chicken tenders. tenders. Mild. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. That's good flavor mm -hmm. all around. It's really good. Good crunch. They did great. Mmm. You should be not mashed potato. Oh, don't tease me with a good mm -hmm. time right now, mm -hmm. baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's phenomenal. Yeah. That's a great dipping sauce. Oh, oh yeah. And you get a big glob of the gravy. Mm. Gravy glob. Mm. Let's try the sweet heat sauce. It smells like sweet and sour from a Chinese place. Oh, it tastes like that, but a little kick. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Uh, this is actually, I haven't had um, my sauce on Popeye, so I'm just do a quick product plug. Some people don't like the excess of product plugs. I what hear are you. you. To do? I hear you. I will, I'll rein it back. But I do want you to know it's really good sauce. And I'm just like, I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to like, like take advantage of you or no. Like, I'm just no. trying to share that it's really good. I've worked really hard on it. I'm really proud of it. Keith has worked really hard on this hot sauce and it tastes amazing. And if you don't like that, thank you for watching anyway. Please come see Blue Burger on tour. Thank you for watching. The, the chicken, chicken tenders. tenders. Spicy. Um, I typically don't get the spicy. Because it, it's pretty spicy. And if you look inside, I mean, look at how moist this is. You can see that little orange spice, which is under the batter, which is very cool. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. I didn't think it could get better than the normal chicken tender. Yeah, it's really good. And wow. for me, this is where I really will come, you know, the potatoes come into play. Because it takes a little of the edge off. But I mean, there's a reason you make something spicy. It's that peppers are delicious. <laughs> and it hurts, but it's, a, it's worth it. Mm. So personally, I like the mild better, mm. just because the spicy for me gets hot very quickly over time. And I like to eat a lot of fried chicken, so I just like to keep it mild. And I like to, you know, measure out my spice as I want it. But Huey, it's been great having you. Well, thanks for having me, Keith. So good to see you. Great to see you. All right, thanks for dropping by here. Right. Make sure you follow Huey at Huey Stonefish on Instagram, on Twitter, and wherever Huey Stonefish is our soul. Now it's time for a little bit of seafood. So Popeyes used to have a lot more seafood. They had like po' boys. They also used to have this thing called ripping chicken, which looked like um, they sold deep fried hands. They, that's what they look like. <laughs> we'll throw up a picture so you can see. But they used to have this thing called ripping chicken. And I noticed today when I was ordering and yesterday when I was researching that they don't have any of those things anymore. They just have the shrimp. And they've scaled back their menu. And I think that's smart because when you go to a fried chicken place, you don't really want anything but fried chicken. There's really no point. The shrimp, this is all seafood. Just the shrimp. Let's try it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's satisfying. Oh, it's a little spicy. Oh, they use the spicy batter. Okay, I like that. I did not know it was gonna be spicy, so I'm a little surprised, but the flavor of the spicy batter is much better. It gives it a lot more, more going on with the shrimp. I'm gonna try it with the tartar sauce. I'm a big tartar sauce fan with my shrimp. Oh yeah, with the tartar sauce really kills that heat. Brings out all the flavor. It's totally good, it's fine, but I would never order it just because the fried chicken is so much better. But maybe you have a pescatarian in the family. So that was the shrimp, but now it's time to move into the famous, the ever mysterious, the always sought after, Popeye's fried chicken sandwiches. Now please welcome for the first time in this episode, Alex Lewis! Oh, wow. What you bring? What's the segment called? Well, the segment, who, it's everybody's favorite segment of this fabulous show. Alex made some cookies for the all you can eat, eating the menu time. The daddy's favorite cookie. And what's really exciting about this 
uh, time that I baked them, is that I've decided, since so many people, they always ask me for the recipes, Alex, what's your pumpkin bread recipe? I filmed myself baking these, and I listed out the ingredients. So if you go look at my Instagram, on my Instagram TV, you're gonna see exactly how to make these exact daddy's famous cookies. Favorite cookies? Favorite. Favorite cookies. There's bites taken out of it, because we're actually reshooting the intro right now. The other intro was a little wild. Yeah, it, it was a little too nice. Well, we'll do a quick montage of moments that were that made us decide to redo it. Alex baked Shh. some cookies dude, for dude, the all dude, you can dude. eat. Before we get to what? Why? Why? The Try Guys have a lovely segment called Without a Recipe, and it's in- It's a show, there's chocolate right Oh God, okay. Pretty much no reason to follow them anymore. Here's another This is not how no you want to eat your cookies. No, here's a reason to follow me, asshat. My daddy's favorite is the only way some cookie. Can you set forward You a know what, everything about that entrance was Let's bad. try it again. Let's do it again. Just so everybody knows, we have a very it's brotherly a relationship. It's sort of a bit that we do. <laughs> like, At times it leans into real, and then we try to dial it back immediately. <laughs> Cause you fight with your friends sometimes, right? You have a little tip. It wasn't a tip even, it was just a taff. So the cookie is just, you know, standard oatmeal raisin and it's, you know, I salted it. I can't wait to try it. The way you liked it. Well, let's try the cookie. All right, I'm already eating mine. It's, it is chocolate. It's not this. salty enough. Oh, Really? Yeah. Hold on. I don't think that raisins and chocolate go well together. I know that people make raisin nuts, but Here. that's not my favorite candy. I think this one doesn't have chocolate. No, nope, it's got well, The chocolate overpowers everything. <sighs> I'm this sorry. Is not daddy's favorite. All right, now let's move on to chicken sandwiches. Great. Now, have you had the Popeye's fried chicken sandwich? I have not, and I'm very excited because I am a big Chick-fil-A fan. I know that that's a bit of a controversial place, but just, Ooh, but yeah. sure, sure. Ooh, I, hey, I get it. I'm willing to be won over by a different sandwich. Well, guess what? You're about to be. Now, okay. I'll, I'll also say a lot of people ask me to do uh, eat the menu Chick Fil A, and I really want to review every restaurant, but I also don't want to promote uh, a business that you know gives a lot of money to things that I disagree with. Uh, so maybe someday it will happen, but they're gonna have to change where they send all their money. The Popeyes, the Popeyes spicy, spicy fried, fried chicken, chicken sandwich. <laughs> One more time, I got it. The Popeyes the spicy, spicy fried, fried chicken, chicken sandwich. sandwich. Which, oh, f me, dude. Okay. Oh, by the way, I just want to say, Stop. by the way, I would just like to say for everybody commenting about my mom, thank you. And for everybody that's saying she's way better than me on Eat the Menu, duh, of course she is. Okay, here we go. Wow, that's spicy as f Oh my God. The spicy I mean, one. I need mean mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh shit, it's spicy as f Oh, oh. Is this a sweet tea or the regular tea? That's actually a Coke. I was pretending it was sweet tea, but they got that wrong too. I was, I was just trying to be nice. I you know, I had such a nice. bad time. What a burger! Everyone was so mad. I'm just trying to like not make people mad. The Popeyes, Popeyes fried, fried chicken, chicken sandwich. sandwich. Oh wow! You know, I really didn't think that this would be better than Chick Fil A. I gotta go again. Mm -hmm. That's this so good. Pickle presence is so good. Oh my god. The, the crispiness is there, the flavor is all there. It's so good. I love the plain fried chicken sandwich. I think it's so good. I think the spicy one's also delicious, but it's like not playing. It's spicy. It's a spicy bitchin' sandwich. Do you want to take a quick bite? Yeah, I do. Just you should it. also try the spicy chicken sandwich. You are gonna love this, Huey. This Get ready. Look at that thing. Rock Look at that mother. I was wondering what that sauce was. I was like, huh? That I looks like it could be spicy. Yeah, I did too. And I was like, and then I saw the breading. I'm like, oh, I think it's spicy. Yeah. How yeah, good? Yeah, this is my sandwich. I knew this was you gonna got be sauce this. all in your beard, but mm, that's worth it. all right, take it with you. Jump out of here, you. Oh my god. It is so good. I can't stress enough how I think this is one of the single best fast food items on the market right now. It's right. really a special experience. Well, let's fin should I get out of here? Yeah, I guess you gotta go, huh? So thanks, Alex. Good to see ya. Hey. Bye. Go get this chicken sandwich, it's better. In 1996, in Louisiana, a chicken strip restaurant was born. It's called Raisin Cane's. We're gonna eat it. It's okay, I'm rolling on Alex Lewis. He's gonna order us some Raisin Cane's. It's right there, look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go. Hey, 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 what's the chicken? I, oh, that sounded exciting. Can I, can I get a three finger combo with a sweet tea? Hello? <laughs> hello? Is, it, is anyone there? Ask again. Hi, hello? Yes, sir. Hey, sorry. Can can I get the sandwich combo with lemonade, but instead instead of fries, can I get coleslaw with that one? 
All right, well then just do the sandwich combo and add a side of coleslaw. It literally says on the top of the menu that you can do that. So odd. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> I like your braces color. Oh, it's yeah. the best. You're gonna love that. Our Uber driver is super cool, letting us do this. Very nice. Shout out to. Oh no, it's Lyft. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just start off with the drinks. They make their very own lemonade and raisin canes, or so they say. So we're gonna try it first. The lemonade. It's good. It's tart. I don't know if it tastes fresh because I rarely have lemonade. The sweet tea. It's so sweet. You can almost taste the little individual granules of sugar. <laughs> Car. This is the first freeway eat the menu. Because we gotta be fast, we gotta be speedy. It's a short menu. Now let's move on to the sides. The coleslaw. I'm a fan of coleslaw, always love a good coleslaw. Not bad, not amazing. A little bland. I think I like the Popeyes better. But it's still pretty good. The Texas toast. It's kind of like the bread you get when you get barbecue. It's like a good, thick, fluffy white bread. The sheer gives a little crunch, which is nice. But honestly, I think this is just to fill your stomach up if you didn't get enough out of that chicken fries. It's good. The French fries. They're, they're in a box. I, normally, I do a better product shot, but that, we're juggling in a car here. Let me try the fries first by themselves. Oh, they're good. Good crinkle cut. Good light crunch. Soft, pillowy inside, salty. Kind of like um, Chick Shack. Good crinkle cut. Let me try it with this, the cane sauce. Wow, it's amazing. It's unlike anything I've ever had. It's like salty and sweet, kind of like, kind of like a chipotle mayo, but sweet, like very sweet, like tart, kind of lemony. I'm gonna try it, I try the sauce. Feature. Those chicken tenders, baby. Let's try the chicken tender by itself. Mmm, the meat in it is pretty good. Oh. It's definitely, it's not dry. It's a little tough, but I think it's gonna be amazing with the cane sauce. The cane sauce is it's incredible. And I think that the chicken is deliberately under seasoned because of how, how good the cane sauce is. Oh yeah, wow. Oh my god, that's a match made in heaven. That kind of reminds you of being in hell. I feel like you're sitting. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, if hell is like this, I'll take a one way ticket. Man, I want to put my sauce into their sauce and make their sauce a spicy sauce. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks delicious. Oh wow. Wow. This guy needs a girlfriend. I think it's Kane's sauce. Because. <laughs> They are doing some dirty things together in my mouth. If they got if they got married and had a child, they'd be raising canes. Aw. That's so cute. Gotta move on to the final thing. The chicken sandwich. They only put this much cane sauce in my sandwich. They're crazy. They know that I want more than that. They are crazy. The bun feels nice. It's also got um the cornmeal on it, which is strange because their bread is totally different. I was expecting a Texas toast to be the sandwich. It's good, but it needs more cane sauce. Where's that sauce? And the chicken sauce. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is excellent. My chicken sauce goes great with it. The sauce itself is great. The chicken tenders are great. The sandwich, I recommend Raisin Cane's. It's great. I think the best thing here at Raisin Cane's is the sauce. The chicken is amazing, but it's made so much better with the sauce. The sauce is the king. I totally get it. I'm on board. My least best today, I think goes to the coleslaw. It was just fine. And they charged me more for it, even though the sign said they shouldn't. I don't even get that. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, literally, she said that doesn't work, and then it says at the top of the menu it does. Should I have caused a stink? 
88 cents more. So I, I, it wasn't worth the stink. Ah, but that's it. Wow, we did it. We ate everything at Raisin Cane's. <laughs> what a victory. Now back to Popeyes. Okay, we're not done. There are still desserts. But before we get to desserts, this is what it's all about. The bone-in fried chicken. This is the Popeyes famous fried chicken. This is the thing that after they rebranded, and maybe they changed the recipe, I don't know. They were able to go from a failing business to a business with 3,000 stores. 3102, in fact, I believe. I have right here four pieces of the mild. Underneath, I have four pieces of the spicy. I'm going to try a bite of all eight pieces, tell you which I think is actually just the best piece by itself, and then if I like the mild or spicy piece better. Let's start with the mild drumstick. Mmm. Oh yeah. The good moistness. The dark meat is very fatty, as it should be. Turkey legs are for dad at Thanksgiving, but chicken legs are for the youngest boy or the youngest girl. You know, they're so easy to eat. They're so delicious. They have a lot of fat, but that's okay. Kids have great metabolism. The mild thigh. Woo! I feel like I just joined the mild thigh club. And we are in Denver, which is a mile high. I am gonna try it with a little hot sauce, because um, typically I don't get to try it with the full fried chicken pieces. I'm trying to eat a little healthy outside of these videos, which means in this video I get to go for it, so that's awesome. Mm. Really with the fried chicken, you can taste the buffalo-ness, the ranch-ness. Wow, so good. I'm saving the breast for last. <laughs> Let's just try these wings. These wings look a little meek, to be honest. They don't look um, as good. I think this is gonna be my least favorite. You know, what it lacks in meat, it makes up for crispiness. Really good crispy bite. This is probably for the stubborn sister. She thought we were going to KFC. She's a KFC girl, nothing against that. So she's like, fine, I'll just get the wings. I don't really want anything anyway. <sighs> the mild breast. This is the shit. Look at this. Just look at it. I, it should be floating in front of a, a black void by itself. A spotlight hitting this beautiful giant piece of meat. It's really good. This is such a thick, Piece. It's so hard to get this not to be dry, and this is still very moist. The flavor is so good. The breading here is so good. I'm gonna treat it like a lady right now. This is really delicious. This is what I always get. Becky, for two years in a row for my birthday, she made me a fried chicken bouquet made of Popeyes fried chicken. It was so sweet. She knows. She knows me. Well, those are all really good, but it's time to dial things up and have the spicy drumstick. I mean, look at, you can really see, like, the color is significant. Bam, wow. The spice is really subtle on the, the dark meat because there's so much fat. It feels very doable. I would say if you want to try the spicy pieces, start with the drumstick. Let's do the same order, let's hit that thigh. So here, you're looking at the thigh, okay, right? It's time for a little chicken lesson. Chicken lesson. So you have this L of bone, I'm gonna start eating from right there. And if you can just tear it, you can see that there's meat right there. Let's try this spicy thigh. Mm-hmm. Again, the fat really tames it. It's not so spicy. I can feel the heat, but it's not as overwhelming as in the, the chicken tenders. It's really quite balanced and nice. The spicy wing. Remember that feeble little baby wing? Remember that little piece of shit <laughs> from moments ago? Look at the size of this. This is nice. You want this big extra chunk of white meat. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Mmm, you hear that? That's where the bread is. It got a little too heavy, but no one hates that. Mmm. Mm hmm So that stubborn sister, if she accidentally got one of these, she'd be like, oh, maybe I do like Popeyes more. I can't say it. I can't admit it. I can't admit I'm wrong. I'm 15. I can't be wrong. The spicy breast. This one's even more obvious as to where you should bite, because you can actually kind of see this dark bone sticking through. Now, here's something to look out for. Sometimes it's like weird bone that's coming from the side. Sometimes it's not there, this time it's not there, but this is a little jagged bone that sometimes sticks out. So just, you know, always be careful when you eat bone-in food. See? What did I tell you? I'm always afraid it's gonna be too spicy, but it's actually quite temperate in this moment. It's really delicious. I need to try it, of course, with my favorite dip, the mashed potatoes. Wow, so good. For me, I rank the pieces, both for mild and spicy, 
Today, I'm going with thigh, breast, leg, wing. I, I think the thigh actually took it for me today, which is tough, because I, I, I love the breast, but I'm also a thigh guy. I'm a breast boy, I'm a thigh guy. I just think they really know what the f they're doing over there. And I know that I've heard people say that in Louisiana, it's even better, but you gotta respect that it's this good. We're in Colorado. That's not Louisiana. So good, so amazing. How unbelievable, but we're not done. It's now time for the desserts. So here's the thing, guys. There's not a lot of desserts right now. Depending on where you are, there are different offerings at Popeyes. I think you can get corn on the cob some places. Unfortunately, here they only have the cinnamon apple pie and the red velvet cupcake. They forgot our red velvet cupcake. So right now, let's cut to us with a cell phone trying the red velvet cupcake somewhere. We're gonna go find that Popeye's red velvet cupcake, right? Then they have jambalaya, mac and cheese, and corn on the cob. Guys, there's so many things we missed. <laughs> okay, what I haven't shared with the guys is that my tummy's a little rumbly. I'm feeling a little bit nauseous. Don't, you can't eat anything that's you eat. You're not allowed to eat right now. Crazy. This is tough, we didn't get the thing, and now I got fish. The pecan pie. He's into it. I did it. Wow. We've got five minutes to get back to our game with the Popeyes. The mac and cheese. Noodles are a little overcooked, but otherwise pretty good. Oh. Mm. That's it's actually like a bird. Well, I heard the Not like a bird, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. It tastes like that frozen microwavable bag of cheese. Yeah. The corn on the cob. <laughs> In 3D, it's fine. It's not as good as Nando's corn was. Corn. Corn's not really in season right now. Hmm. And it tastes that way. Corn? No, you don't want it. The jambalaya. It's got some pieces of chicken. A staple of any jambalaya. Spicier than I was expecting, but really quite tasty actually. It's kind of spicy, makes you want more. Mm. So it'd probably be good for my stomach to have a little certainly spice not, nice. Certainly not. You'll like it. it. You'll like it a lot. That's for sure. It's delicious. At first I wasn't sure, but then I was sure. Mm. It's good though, right? Wow. Well, you feed it to me like a bird, small mouse. Like a little train going into a tunnel. Mm -hmm. Chaka, chaka, chaka. Choo, choo. Choo, choo. Mm, not bad. All right, we're gonna move on over to the Cajun fish. Barely tastes like fish, but tastes 100% like just fried chicken skin, and it's amazing. <laughs> Look at that. No doubt thin the fish in there is. That's really good. That is good. Mm. It sort of tastes... Airport like fish is surprisingly good. I think it kind of tastes like a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Is that everything? Do we do it? Okay, well, that wasn't what we promised you. No. Okay. <laughs> How funny. What were we wearing? I'm just guessing that we were dressed stupid. All right, let's go ahead and try the other dessert that we have here today, the cinnamon apple pie. Smells good, it's fried. I love the fried pies over the baked pies. They always have a good crunch, so let's, let's see if they do. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, I have some thoughts. So on the outside of this, there's like little powdery cinnamon sugar, kind of like, um, I mean, look at my fingers. See the, do you see the granules? So there's like, just by holding it, my hands are just covered in cinnamon. Kind of like cinnamon toast crunch cinnamon. The dough itself is fried really well. It's got a little tiny bit of like bubbled crackiness. But what I don't like is that inside of this, there's very few apple chunks and it's mostly just apple goo. I think that McDonald's always has a ton of apples. Whataburger had a good amount of apples in theirs as well. But this, look, there's, not, there's like two tiny apple chunks. That's not enough, that's a letdown. I, here's the thing, it tastes great. <laughs> I don't, 
Like, I can't taste that there's like anything different, but the texture needs that little apple chunk to chew through. Otherwise, this would have been perfect. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my least best, you know? I wasn't upset at anything here today. I'm gonna have to think. And now it's time for the best and the least best. Normally I start with the least best and go to the best, but we already know what the best is. The best is the chicken sandwich. Even better than the bone-in fried chicken. And that's crazy for me to say. I love bone-in fried chicken. When I get wings, I get bone-in wings. But the chicken sandwich, it's bomb. If Popeyes got rid of everything on the menu and only sold the sandwich, I think they'd still have the exact same business. If you haven't tried it, get out there and try it. Popeyes, if you're looking to sponsor me, I will take it but I'm gonna plug it without your money anyway. It's such a good sandwich, you, you earned it. You really earned it. And for the least best, <clears throat> for the least best, I, I don't know, the shrimp, I don't know. There's nothing that was like bad. There maybe wasn't enough gravy on the mashed potatoes, but there was still some gravy. Um, I don't know, I, the only thing I can think of is the least best is the mistakes, right? We didn't get the sweet tea, we didn't get the ranch, we didn't get two of the items, which means we didn't get the dessert, we didn't get an extra chicken sandwich, because now we have no chicken sandwiches left, and that sucks, because I want to save some room. I could eat a whole chicken sandwich right now, so that's, that's shitty for me. But, I don't know, there's no least best. It's all good. I didn't have anything negative to say, and I think everybody's gonna be like, he was so mean in that other one, and this meat wasn't mean at all. And it wasn't even that mean in the Whataburger one. I'm still really stuck on that. Well, this has been Eat the Menu Popeyes. I've been Keith Habersberger. Thanks to Huey Stonefish. Thanks to Alex Lewis. Thanks to all the great people who brought this to us. Thanks to everybody who's involved with any of these episodes. And of course, thanks to me. Get yourself a bottle or three of Keith Chicken Sauce at KeithChickenSauce.com or at Amazon.com and just search for Keith Chicken Sauce. I'll probably have a link in the description below. Check it out. Otherwise, where else should I eat next? See you next time. <laughs>